right, guys. Welcome back to the Crypto Wave. Midday, 2.30. Today is the Monday, March 7th. Um, taking a look at our piggy bank. So, weekend, as I said, I wasn't going to be able to get in here and do any videos. Um, I apologize. I have my window open this time. Uh, trying to get some fresh air. So, if you hear cars, I apologize. Um, so, quick little update. Uh, first and foremost, let's jump over here. So, we did. I did keep track of these over the weekend. There was a huge sell-off. So, from the 5th, my mouse is acting up here. Here we go. From the... Where am I? Fifth. Why is my mouse not working here? This is going to make it interesting. Uh, all right. So anyway, so from the fifth here, 236, dogs 55. We did have some decent trading volume, but everything had kind of calmed down from that 6,000 when Piggy Bank launched. The... Um, Treasury is still going down as it's paying that 3%. So we did see the value go down here a little bit, pigs per um, per day per um, pig per day in the pin. Uh, we did see just about a, a slight, about 1% decrease on the amount of pigs staked. I think this kind of has to do with people trying to get into the big bank still. There's kind of a little bit of residual on that. Down 54 pig holders. Dogs, 26%. It's been hovering at 26% for about the last five days. But the amount of people holding dogs also went down, which kind of correlates over here um, to the total volume. So this is now down to 234 million. Uh, there was a pretty big sell-off that brought this down, and that might have played into some of this here. So as you can see what I put here, which is the piggy bake bot found. So I can't tell. I, I went through thousands and thousands of messages. Some people are saying that it was a bot. Some people are saying it's somebody who just was able to get in very, very quickly. So most people who don't know, um, even myself, I think I was like maybe the 28th purchase on the contract when it released, when that timer ran out. Because um, what you can do actually is when you go into these contracts, you can actually up your gas. And I'm sure the vast majority of people watching this probably know that. But when your MetaMask pops up and it says, hey, here's how much it's going to cost you, you can edit that fee super high. So you can put it up 10, 20, 30x and pay as opposed to the Binance standard 20 cents, you could pay $1.20. And what that ends up doing when you submit that particular transaction, it's actually going to get mined first. So it actually kind of bumps you to the front of the line um, of when transactions are going to be processed. And so did he maybe do something like that? Eh, hard to say. I haven't got confirmation. I've been trying to dig into the, the contract. I'm trying to determine if he was the absolute first purchase on the contract or was that first purchase the one that Forex has been saying that he would um, do kind of an artificial purchase in order to set that purchase price. And then maybe this guy was number two. Um, good question. I don't know where he falls in it. Bottom line is there was a huge sell-off. Why? Because as it turned out, whoever this person was, um, not only did he get in first, whether he used a bot or not, he got an incredibly good value. Somewhere in the upwards of he put in $30,000 um, bot and he was one of the first transactions. So he got a bitch and deal on piglets. Um, and then unfortunately, because of the economics, he was able to draw up to $600,000. People saw it draining kind of uh, artificially quickly. And I think that's where the investigation kind of ensued. Um, once they determined what was happening, I don't know if they determined who it actually was. I haven't dug into the chat that much. Um, they uh, blacklisted that particular wallet. So he can't move the piglets. Um, he can't uh, sell anymore. In essence, he can't sell anymore, halting all of that craziness and him pulling value out. Uh, ultimately, over the weekend, he did get about $600,000 out after putting 30000 in. So in my book, I call it, you know what, fair. Everybody has a max payout on the wallet. Um, his, I'm sure, hit. He kind of got an artificial extra value on that but 30,000 to 600,000 the guy can't be complaining whether they got his wallet locked or not so and forex was very very specific that he would not tolerate bots and things of that nature so uh, the fact that he's blacklisted maybe they're investigating into it i don't know where is forex during all this i do not know i have not heard a lot of um, information i know there's another dev in there bb he's actually the one who kind of chimed in and was doing some stuff and ultimately he blacklisted that wallet so once that you know the, once that hit all this stuff went down so there's about four four point two million ish trading volume price dropped significantly i had 192 at the time of me taking the picture but actually went all the way down to a i, I want to say it was like 130 or something like that let's look real quick so here's that huge sell-off let's zoom in on that here's that big 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 sell-off close that uh and it got all the way down to here so it got down to 126 
And this was over that weekend. So this is that weekend drop that we were talking about. Kind of takes us out of this standard downward trend um, and started pushing us um, uh, down more than what you would typically anticipate. Um, however, once anything got rectified over here, here's uh, March 6th, so this is yesterday. And as you can see, we've started having some appropriate buybacks here, whether that's Forex or natural, I don't know. And now we've kind of had the steady up climb and now it's starting to take a little bit of a correction here. So, um, so I'm gonna call this, this is kind of an artificial, um, artificial dump here. So coming from here all the way down over to here, this puts us right back to, let's go back to the fifth. Uh, here, let's change this actually. Let's go to an hour chart. <laughs> Might paint a little bit better picture on it. Uh, so 28th, 3rd, 4th, 5th. So here, um, piggy bank launches on the 4th. So here's the 4th. And then we started just having the steady, steady decline. Right here on the 6th, people started realizing, boom, 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 selling off. I think with him selling off, there started to be some FUD. So other people started selling off thinking maybe it was compromised. Blacklisted wallet, starting to get some correction here. So in my opinion, all good. I honestly, like I said, I don't know what the logistics are behind it, but uh, so be it. If this person did use a bot or just happened to get incredibly lucky in some ant ant manner, he did pull out 600000 off of a 30000 deposit. Um, I think by all means, everybody would call that a success and we go from there. So that's just my personal opinion. I'm sure there's other sides to it. I'm not trying to cause any discussion or FUD or FOMO or any of that kind of stuff. I'm just saying, I think the vast majority of us would be happy with a $30,000 deposit making a $600,000 in two days. So, uh, so here's the correction. So as it stays here, we did get the correction. The FUD seems to be dissipating. 207 uh, this morning when I was pulling these numbers. As you can tell, it's about 197 now. Uh, dog started rebounding just a little bit. Huge trading volume. This is actually what's anticipated. And that's simply, it's about 13 now. That is simply because there was so much sell-off between the 6th and the 7th here. So treasury still downtrending. However, because of this, we did get a, because of the, um, massive trading and sell off. We did get a huge spike in that pigs per day per, um, uh, in the pig pen. So 420,502, that is the amount of pigs circulating. 283 locked up, that's just about 66%. That is still down trending. We did, fortunately, after having a couple of down days, we did have a couple of up days now. So people are actually starting to hold on to those pigs again. Dogs as usual, uh, dogs sitting around 24, 25%. Unfortunately, we did have another dip on those dogs here. Again, I think that's gonna be correlated over here. Uh, as you can tell, the total volume. So people, I would imagine there's gonna be those that, that are basically farm hunters. And basically what they do is they look for farms that have high APYs, things that are coming open, whether they're a scam or not. A lot of these, you can actually move your volume over, get those 2000 percent A lot of times people who have big bankrolls will go into those new farms without any research, mine it for like 2,000% for like a day, and then they withdraw it out. Hopefully the person doesn't rug on you in that day. As we know, Forex isn't gonna be rugging anything. I personally am keeping my money set right here. There's only two farms that I trust on the Binance chain at the moment, one of them being Pancake, the other being Animal Farm. Um, I'm sure there's a million other farms out there, and I'm sure a lot of people trust other farms out there. There's Bunny and there's uh, uh, there was an aqua there was i mean there's a bunch of them but for me personally uh, uh, i only trust my my funds on two particular sites one being in a farm one being pancake swap so um <clears throat> what else was i going to talk about oh so uh, a couple of updates in regards to the piggy bank itself so uh, we should start keeping track of this so i'll take care of that uh let's see where we're at here it was uh it was 1.7 last i checked no, 1.8. Oh, interesting. I'm going to do this. Maybe that's what tell us calculator. I should probably just be doing it this way. Uh, 31 divided by 76. Oops, I did that backwards. I apologize. We're just going to do 76 divided by 31. Ah, 2.4. So in reality, because of that sell-off, 2.4 LP uh, per... 2.4 LP per one piglet. Um, so it's that's decent. It's about where it was when we when we launched everything. So a um, couple of updates here. The timers are now on this button. Uh, you do have to wait for the once a day, um, the once a day in order to compound or sell. These are all my locked down here. 
Um, so the uh, truffles buttons for selling are not active because I have not hit my time limit. Uh, I do have this sell truffle here because this is the one that I did not put a lock on. Um, so uh, over the weekend, they were allowing you to compound on if you had too low of piglets and those piglets uh, ultimately end up being under the value of one i'm sorry they were letting you allow to compound your truffles even if the truffles were below the amount needed for one piglet in essence kind of decimal place compounding but they removed that feature i think after they d determined what the fud uh was in the blacklist and all that kind of stuff i'm hoping they rebound on that there's quite a few people that are a little bit concerned um you know you want that three percent compound daily but it's based on being able to do it daily and if this is restricted um uh, if this is restricted to only having a full piglet, then people can't compound daily, and that's uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, but we will we'll see what it plays out. You know, we're only a couple of days into this at the moment. Um, I have full. If they did it before, they should be able to do it again. You should be able to compound those truffles, and as you build up, you should be able to increase those piglets there. So uh, let's jump over to the farms. Let's see what kind of rates we're getting. Drip BUSD, the drip garden itself, still rocking and rolling here, still producing seeds. Um, Time bonus, good, good, good. Everything's rocking and rolling. The what's the contract balance? Is seven eighty six. I think that's down. I don't really pay attention to the drip garden all that much, but I believe that it's slightly down on it. So um, everybody start, should start paying attention to when you want to start pulling, uh, pulling funds versus compounding in there. Um, pig pen, yeah, decent amount. Couple of days, sixteen dollars. I like it. Farms themselves. Again, you can't beat these values on a trusted site. Stablecoin, you're looking at about a 50%. WBNB with Stablecoin, 87. Drip USD, uh, because Drip also took pr a pretty good hit. Why? Couldn't tell you. Um, I follow Drip. I'm in Drip. What made this price drop? Couldn't tell you. Let's see. $63 at the moment. Uh, that's about half of what its all-time high was. If I remember, the all-time high was about 120. So, uh, Cake BNB, you're sitting about 127%. There's a lot of other farms in there. Those are the ones that I'm into. My dog pool, I ended up staking some more in here. So I'm up to about 3,800 in my dog pool, earning me some pigs. Uh, then your your standard pools. This pool here, I actually put $135 stable into a 50% pool at 4X. The reason I did this is because I was talking to my brother about it and trying to explain Animal Farm to him. Showed him how MetaMask works, deposited it in here so he can kind of understand it. So we'll see what happens. I'll let it ride. Uh, and then obviously the cake, you're sitting about 98%. So... Um, with that being said, where do I see this going? I think we're just about getting back on track here. With that blacklisted wallet, with the FUD kind of dissipating, I would anticipate pretty soon we're going to get uh, some type of an AMA or an update from Forex in the next day or two. He hasn't announced that, but that's just my suspicion. How can you not? I know he also said he's going to be going full marketing push onto the Drip community. Uh, with Drip community, obviously, Animal Farm comes along with that. It's time to go full marketing. Uh, once we have that full marketing, we should start seeing all these values come up. I haven't updated this particular site yet. I'm going to have to try and find a new way to do this. It's just becoming too cumbersome here. So, uh, All right, guys. That's about all I can think of. Um, I hope you guys were not tied up in that FUD too much. I hope it didn't freak you out. I still think and believe that this thing is going to be a juggernaut. I think we are literally just in the beginning of it. Between Piggy Bank, Drip Garden, Pig Pen, and these farms with APY, including but not limited to Drip Community and Forex going out there and is going to start promoting the bejesus out of this with marketing, all kinds of stuff. Not to mention, even on top of that, if he didn't have enough good news, uh, he has not started doing the rehypothecation buybacks yet. Plus, he did still have multi million dollars that he was actually before um, doing all of these uh, like 450k buy here. Uh, where was it? 500k here, 500k here, 500k here. 300k here so those buybacks are and, and maybe that's what this is maybe he did start doing some buybacks just to kind of counteract that fud that happened either way you guys we got a long journey ahead of us so long in fact that as you know over in my piggy bank here i did put in for a two-year um a two-year stake here so i'm in it for the long haul guys hope this finds you well hope everybody's doing great please like and subscribe if you haven't and have a great day